Whoa! Oh, not again. Hello! She's so busy washing, she never even noticed me. Hello! She's so busy washing, she never even noticed me. Hey, Boogle! Let's go! I've got it! Hey, you! What a stench! I wonder what's inside there. Live on CD-ROM from beautiful cliffside Escarpa, it's The Bitter Nuts! With Jack Kleckman as Mr. Bitter Nuts! And starring Sandra Mulhani as Mrs. Bitter Nuts! With Vinyl McCulkey as Little Bobby Bitter Nuts! Yeah, 
Today, we join the Bitter Nuts, just as they hear a knock on their door. Just a minute. Holly, can you get that? Oh, never mind. Do I have to do everything around here? Coming! Yo! Aren't you the giant economy-sized visitor? <laughs> You know, I'd ask you in, but I'm not sure there's enough air in here. <laughs> Holly, take a look at this guy. This is what a real man looks like. <laughs> Holly? Oh, honey, don't mind him. He's just acting his IQ. <laughs> so, uh, you want to come in? Or maybe that should be... Can you come in? <laughs> Why, thank you. I will. <laughs> hey, Mom, I... <laughs> hey, Mom, I... Whoa! Who's the big guy? <laughs> We don't know, honey. <laughs> We're still waiting to find out. <laughs> My name is Torin, from the lands above. I'm Mrs. Bitternut, and this is what's left of my husband, Mr. Bitternut. <laughs> and that's Bobby, our son. <laughs> so, uh, what's that thing in your purse? <laughs> Why, that's my little buddy, Boogle. Oh, <laughs> uh, he won't hurt you. He likes people. Yeah? Then he won't fit in here. <laughs> if he's smart, he'll stay off my furniture. <laughs> Mrs. Bitternut, I was wondering. Selfish. That's all they are. Lived right across the chasm for years. Do we ever hear from them? I'm sorry, what? Oh, that King Rupert. He really fries my cornbread. <laughs> Lives almost next door. Does he ever invite us over? No. <laughs> Why, you'd think he was better than us or something. <laughs> I'm sure King Rupert means to be nice to you. Uh, perhaps he's just busy. Mmm, busy for 20 years? And that queen of his... Die? Yeah, she should. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with her? Too snooty for me, that's what, Toring. Why, she acts like they didn't have a daughter that was... Hey, have you met their daughter? What about their daughter? Her name's Lena, or something like that. <laughs> you two should get together, Toring. You have so much in common. <laughs> we do? Like what? Oh, uh, your looks, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you two deserve each other. <laughs> How would you describe Lena? Well, uh, let's see. 
Uh, she has a nice personality. <laughs> She's kind to her parents, I suppose. <laughs> She's a good climber. <laughs> She's lots of fun. <laughs> A good dancer. <laughs> She's got a great personality. <laughs> In other words, she's a lot like you. <laughs> How would you describe Lena? Well, uh, let's see. Uh... <laughs> Hey, Boogle, let's go. <laughs> Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby Bitter Not Ask. Mom will never find out. <laughs> the Bitter Nuts is not filmed before a live audience. <laughs> Well, what have we here? It's nice to see humility in somebody around here. Good day, sir. Yes, it is, isn't it? But then every day is a good day here in paradise. A land as lovely as this should be called paradise. Maybe it should, but we call it a scop. But the real question is, what do we call you? Oh, forgive me, sir. My name is Torin of the Lands Above. I am Rupert, King of Scarpa, and this is my lovely wife, Queen Di. Oh, how do you do, ma'am? Alarmed, I'm sure. Eh? What's that? I said, charmed, I'm sure. Uh, that's nice. King Rupert, Queen Di, I am here seeking Licentia, an evil sorceress who may be in this area. Have you heard of her? I haven't heard of any Licentia. He hasn't heard of anything he can remember. What's that, my queen? I said, if you'd heard a thing, you'd have her dismembered. Yes, that's true. She's not here in Escarpa, young man. Perhaps she's in some other world below us, but you are welcome to stay here as my guest for as long as you wish. Thank you, Your Majesty. Do you know how to get to the worlds below Escarpa? It seems I recall a connection back when I was a young boy, but oh, lately we've seen no one at all from the other world. I don't know why. I, I, I suppose we've just lost touch. You can say that again. Eh? I missed that, Di. I said, I say, that's a sin. Well, yes, I suppose. <clears throat> I didn't realize you felt so strongly about foreign affairs. If you only knew. 
I cannot stay long in Escarpa. I must find Licentia. Yes, I understand. But in your travels, if you happen upon a young lady named Lena, would you give her a message? Of course, but how will I know her? What does she look like? Um, well, uh, Lena is, um, very tall. Um, yes, nearly as tall as you. And nearly as unsightly. Excuse me? I said she should call home nightly. Oh. Is Lena from Escarpa? Of course. She is my daughter. Oh, really? A princess? Has she been gone long? Only a few days. But parents worry nonetheless. I understand. I know what it's like to miss a loved one. Di, my dear, why don't you give this boy a piece of your jewelry? That way Lena will know he represents us. Oh, brother, are you right in his pocket? What was that? I said, tell her mother sent her this locket. Oh, yes, good idea. Here, Torin, take this one. See, it has a picture of Rupert and me on the inside. I promise to keep it safe until I find her. I love the artwork over your throne, Your Majesty. Why, thank you. But somehow I've always felt my shard collection was incomplete. As incomplete as your memory, you specious fool. What's that you say, darling? I said, no art can compete with our memories, my precious jewel. Oh, yes. Quite so, quite so. What do you think, boy? Isn't she something? Your Majesty, I can see you are a lover of crystals. Yes, that's the only kind he is. What did you say? I said, yes, and how kind he is. Why, thank you, dear. But continue, boy. I humbly offer you this gift from the lands above. I think it will balance your set of crystal shards. May I? Yes, of course. There. <clears throat> and as this one simple shard completes the connection between the formerly distinct spectra above us, so too, therefore, may our two worlds be connected by, uh, the, uh, the the peace and uh, understanding that uh, comes from um, you know it like that there. Oh, here, here! Bravo! I say, what the devil was the boy talking about, Di? Beats me. Di, what did you say? I said, beats me. Well, I'll consider it. Why, thank you, Torrin. It's perfect. And in return, I'd like to present you with this invitation to next week's Royal Ball. Nice swap. Shard for free tickets, you cheapskate. What? What did you say, Di? I said, I hope he's still free at this late date. Oh. Yes, boy, do attend. Thank you, Your Majesty. I hope this isn't one of those buffets with an eat-all-you-take policy.
We now return you to the bitter nuts, already in progress. Just a minute! Coming! Do I have to do everything around here? Mrs. B, I just came from King Rupert, and he asked me to give you this. What is it? An invitation to the Royal Ball. <laughs> Yeehaw, Harley! We're going to the ball. Ain't you excited? Oh, he's never been excited in his life. <laughs> Toring, if there's anything we own that you need for your journey, why, just help yourself. It's yours. <laughs> why, thank you, Mrs. B. Of course, I'd love it if you'd take the mister over there. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, what are you doing? Put that down. That's my best trivet. Aw, oh, Mom, let him have it. You haven't cooked since I was born. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's right. Go on, take it. <laughs> But don't go taking anything else, you hear? And good luck on your quest, young man. Hey, any chance of you taking Junior along with you? <laughs> None whatsoever, I'm afraid. But uh, thanks for the trivet, Mrs. B. <laughs> Hurry, Boog, hop in. Be sure to join us next time when we hear Bobby Bitter Not ask. I don't know how that stain got there, Mom. <laughs> the Bitter Nuts is not filmed before a live audience. <laughs> Can you be a worm? Check back inside there. I bet it's a way out of this land. Yeah, I bet it's dark in there. What are we gonna do? Boogle, turn into a lantern so we can see what's back there. Wow, Boogle, it looks brown and soft and smells terrible. We've just got to have some of that. Uh, say, Boogle, <laughs> would you mind being a shovel? I say, be a shovel.
Okay, Boogle, turn back into a worm again and get out of there. But don't forget our sample. That ramp juts out even farther than the vulture's nest below it. Hello, my name is Torin. Hey, get out of here! Oh, Tripe, you're such a grump. Hello, young man. <laughs> Hello, may I walk past? But of course. No, this is our ledge. Why don't you just jump off? Tripe? Oh, just ignore him. He's just a grumpy old stick in the bowels. Don't talk to him, Viscera. He must be up to no good. I don't like him. Besides that, he's ugly. Ugly? Well, yeah, you're ugly. You're skinny and, and tall. Why, I've only seen one person tall as you. Tripe, stop it. Come to think of it, young man, you do remind me of someone hereabouts. Someone special, too. Royalty. She'd be quite a catch for someone that looks like uh, someone of your uh, appearance. She? Really? But uh, I'm not in the habit of taking dating advice from a vulture. On the other hand, I would like to get past you so I could head up those steps. Would you mind if I asked you to move from your nest? Mind? Of course not. Thank you. Don't mind, cause I ain't gonna. Now, Tripe, we could go for a little flight. I know my wing jury is a stretch. Nope. My wing is fine. I'm moving. Happy right here. Vulture, try and catch this. Hey, Visser, look at that. Fresh dead meat, flying. Hey, let's go after it. As always, I'm with you. Can't you hurry up a little? It's getting away from us. For goodness sake, for once in your life, can't you just stop and smell the rotting meat? What's that beside that little tree? Ahead. Hey, skunks, are you there? I'm here. Are you, Max? I'm here too, Sam. And why do you ask? Oh, well, I was uh, just wondering. Could I pass through your cave? Well, you could try. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
come on. It's been a while since our last target practice. Yeah, there's a chance, sweet miss. Please, fellas, let me pass. I'm a stranger in a strange land. You got that right. What do you think, Sam? Oh, I don't know. Why don't we put it up for a vote, Max? Good idea, Sam. Okay. All those in favor of letting just any guy who go wandering through our domicile, disrupting our comfortable lifestyle, and tracking in that horrible human odor, say I. Yeah! And all those in favor of raising tail and letting the juices fall where they may, say nay. I. What do I mean? Nay. Nay. Now uh, let's see. That's uh, one I, two nays, and one uh <laughs> The nays happen. Fire at will. Will? I thought he said his name was Torbid. Hang on, Boog. I hope this is worth it. <clears throat> she is such a witch. Someone left this clothespin just hanging there. <laughs> 